How's it going everybody? Kyle here with Newegg TV. Today I'll be showing you how to install a hard drive into your super slim PlayStation 3. Now we all know that PlayStation 4 is right around the corner, but it won't be backwards compatible. So that means you won't be able to play any of your favorite beloved games from your PS3 on your new PlayStation 4. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to show you guys how to install it here. We have the PlayStation 3 uh, super slim model. This is something that Sony has released in recent months, and it, is, it comes with a very affordable price tag. The only downfall is that it only has 12 gigs of built-in flash memory, but it does, however, have room for expansion. And by that I mean you can install a 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive in this guy and greatly extend the capacity of your system so that you can install more movies, music, and games of course on the system. Uh, and uh, and you'll, be doing, you'll be doing a lot better. You'll be in better shape because of it. So right now I have with me, uh, for demo purposes, a 2.5 inch, one terabyte drive. We're gonna be installing it right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download the latest PS3 firmware. We've provided a link in the video description below, so go ahead and follow that. Uh, the firmware file size is about 200 megabytes, so you're going to want to uh, use a flash drive that's big enough to hold that. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now you're going to create a folder in the root menu of your flash drive called PS3 in all caps. And within that folder, you're going to create a second one called Update in all caps. So both folder names should be completely in capital letters. Now inside of that update folder is where you're going to copy the firmware file and you're going to name the file ps 3 updatepup just like it says here. Alright, so you're going to set the flash drive aside for now. We're going to come back to that later. Uh, for now we're going to proceed to the hardware installation. So a uh, quick disclaimer though before we actually get started on that. Um, we are selling a Newegg combo uh, for this tutorial. So we're selling it um, kind of a, a bundle of the Super Slim PS3 itself, as well as a hard drive mounting bracket. Now, if you already bought the PlayStation um, and you don't have the mounting bracket, you're going to need to pick one up to proceed with this tutorial if you want to install a hard drive into your system. Uh, so we've provided a link in the description below. Uh, this, that's the one that we're using today. And you can go ahead and purchase that if uh, you're not going with the new way combo. So with that said, make sure that your PlayStation 3 is unplugged. We don't want uh, anything getting shorted when we're doing this tutorial. Uh, but on the, on the right side of your PlayStation 3, you're going to see the uh, side panel there, and you're going to slide it to the back until it pops off. It should come off relatively easily. And then we're going to mount the hard drive onto the tray by just using the four included mounting screws, screwing them in the back, and then we're going to slide the tray with the hard drive back into the PS3, and we're going to mount it with a, a single uh, screw right there in the middle. And then lastly, you're going to put the side panel back on by sliding it to the front until it pops back into place. And that pretty much does it for the hardware installation. So now all we have to do is install the software, that firmware update that we uh, had saved earlier on, onto our flash drive. And that's pretty much it. So first off, you want to plug in your PS3 and power it on by holding down the power button until the system beeps three times. Then you can let go, but then quickly press it down again until the system beeps two more times and then a third double beep. So there's a lot of beeping going on in this process, so just bear with it, and then uh, you can release the power button after that double beep. So after that, you'll see a prompt menu that uh, gives you a few options. You're going to select Change System Storage from the flash disk, which is the internal built-in uh, flash memory on your PS3, to hard disk, which is the newly installed mechanical drive you just put in there. Uh, you're going to select Yes. It's going to do its thing, and then you're going to want to select System Update back at that same menu that you initially saw. And uh, when you're prompted, go ahead and plug in that flash drive that you initially saved the firmware update file onto, and press and hold the start and select buttons simultaneously. And that's going to allow the PS3 to find the update file and begin preparing it uh, to be installed. So the system's going to prompt you after a while to press the PS button on your controller, so you press it. And then you're going to follow a brief system update setup. There's just like a few screens that you can quickly go through and accept some terms and conditions. And then you're going to wait for that installation to finish. Your system is going to reboot after that and then prompt you to go through the first time setup. So you're going to be setting all your settings like language and time zone, things of that nature. And then finally, it'll bring you to the PlayStation menu. So, so from there, just to verify, you want to go to your settings tab, select system settings, and then select system information so that you can see your available drive capacity in order to verify that your upgrade has in fact taken place. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I am Kyle with Newegg TV. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our Newegg YouTube channel for more tech videos. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And we'll see you all in the next video.